All right. I'm here in Clear Creek, and today I'm going to show pre-racking for rope sport climbing alone. Rope soloing sport lines alone. My rope is flaked out in the bag like it normally would be. But in order for it to feed like I want to, I flake it into my bag. And it's pretty time consuming. As I get older, the less patience I have for gear, honestly, but you know, this is my routine exercise. This is how I try to stay in shape. So in order for it to feed, I just have to make sure it is flaked as well as it can be. It is very smart to add slip knots. Uh, if I am worried about falling, I'll add slip knots every 25, 30 feet. And that's just in case my blade device fails. Fails to catch the rope, I should say. I'm using a 70 meter rope. I think this one is the 9.8 millimeter. I'm using a first generation Grigory. They don't make them anymore and I think I'm on my last first generation Grigory. I'm not sure what I'll do after this one wears out. Yeah, the 9.8 Mammut Crag Classic, 70 meters. And uh, for my anchor knot, I generally tie a figure eight because it cinches up real well on the first bolt. I drape my loop out of the right side of the pack and this is important it needs to be loosely on so that it doesn't prevent the rope from feeding. So now I know the rope is flaked in there it should pull nicely and then I get the draws one two three, four, five on the right, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on the right, Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen on the left. I group my draws like this and so they're really easy to find. So I know I have more than enough draws. I have a ton of gear for this route. That's where we're going. 